Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F124 and another part of our Lewis Hamilton career mode. Today we have got qualifying and the race for the Qatar Grand Prix. Last time out we had a fun sprint race round here, finished fourth in the end, got into a bit of a DRS train before a bit of damage um, to our front wing impacted our ability to do any better than fourth, but... Um, I think we learned a lot. Today is all Let's about hope, the rhythm. hope we all can take it flow, into qualifying, qualifying here in Qatar. in Qatar. We're under the floodlights for a high-speed test that will set the grid for tomorrow. Wherever you are in the world, you're very welcome. Okay, so there he is, Lewis Hamilton now. Getting ready for qualifying. Uh, in terms of setup changes, I think maybe we could knock a couple off the front wing. Uh, another couple off the rear wing. That's probably what we've learned. Um, let's see what tyres we've got. We've got... Yeah, we've got the soft tyres that we were going to use in the sprint race. Um, and yeah, that all looks good. So we've got four sets of soft tyres that we can use today. We're not going to be using these in the race, so I think it's worth... Using them as much as we can. So let's get into qualifying and see how we get on. Okay, I uh, didn't show you the lap, but <laughs> there we are. We are finished in Q1 in P4. Uh, George Russell coming through in P8. Yeah, just completely in the zone there. Didn't uh, even look up. Daniel Ricciardo, Yuki Tsunoda out in qualifying along with Ocon, Gasly and Nico Hulkenberg. Here we come up to the line in Q2 then. Let's see what we can do. It's a 122.3, quickest time so far. We'll settle for that. Here you are, we are through to Q3. Fernando Alonso looking very quick again. Norris up there, signs in Leclerc up there. Uh, Russell just squeaking through, but going out, Sergio Perez, Sergeant Magnus, and Joe Guan Yu and Valtteri Bottas. Well, this felt like a very good lap. Let's see what it was when we come over the line to 22.1. Wow! A thousand uh, or seven thousandths of a second off Lance Stroll, who is currently on pole position. I told the Aston Martin were fast this weekend. Well, I don't think we're going to make it to the line. There's only eight seconds left. This is going to be very, very close. Fernando Alonso has just stolen it from his teammate, I think. We're going to miss the line by a second. Oh, my word. That's a sickening one. So it's P4 once again. And unbelievably, it's an Aston Martin 1-2 for the race tomorrow. Look at that. Fernando Alonso, 121.8. Where did he get that from? That's bonkers. Verstappen, Russell, well down. Leclerc, P3. I mean, three cars within seven thousandths of a second. It's going to be a close one in the race tomorrow, but once again, we start P4. Welcome back to Qatar. There was talk of a new circuit, but we're back here once again at La Salle, under the lights. Three point three miles, sixteen turns, just the one DRS zone, but it's a long straight. We are in the middle of the desert. There is artificial grass around the track to stop sand being blown over the circuit, but they're still going to experience it if they go wide. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Fernando Alonso yesterday puts him on pole position with Lance Stroll alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Hamilton, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Sainz, Russell, Verstappen, Albon, Perez, Sargent, Magnussen, Joe, Bottas, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Ocon, Sonoda, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. 
Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Welcome to the Commentary Box. I'm Alex Jakes. Delighted to say joining us for this intriguing race is Anthony Davidson. Well, it's an excellent sprint yesterday, but we're back to the usual format now. How do they continue what they started? Absolutely. You know, they were at one with their car. You could see that in the sprint. That's why they were successful there. And you've got to carry that through into this race today. And in a way, we've had a snapshot as well of what this driver is capable of. Okay, here we are in the race then, and uh, as we discovered yesterday, tyre wear is... Uh, oh, hang on, we don't want that. We want this strategy. Um, we, we've we seen that um, it will be in our favour to be on those um, hard t harder tyres sooner, probably, I would imagine. Um... You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking even come in as early as lap six here. Those hard tyres seem to have good pace on them pretty quickly. So, yeah, lap six is when we're going to come in for those hard tyres and then going to take them to the end of the race. But uh, here we go. Let's see. What other people have done? I imagine the some of the back markers might have went then. hard. It's going to be interesting the first stint. No, the they've gone soft. Wow. The of the tires. And they are our hardest t compound of tyres. And, you know, they have been struggling. But it's an Aston Martin 1 2. Very the interesting. Back to the grid to line up for the start of the race. Each driver will be wanting to get the best start they possibly can. And they'll be hoping to finish today's race on the podium. Failing that within the points and we start fourth once again it just seems destined that that's where we're going to be this weekend i mean we had a very very good first lap in q3 i think had we got our second lap in we could have found a found a couple of tenths but i don't think we could have matched what fernando alonso produced that 121.8 very very special from him and he seems fired up here won the sprint how's he gonna fare in the feature race here we go it's lights out away we go in qatar it's a decent start off the grid for us bad start off the grid for lance stroll and that means that we have got a chance on leclerc into the first corner oh it was dicey there with uh, stroll and we need to make sure that we don't make any contact that's what really ruined our race in the sprint was uh, that little bit of uh, front wing end play that we lost and uh, we were lucky to hold on to fourth in the end so now it's about settling into this race using these tyres for the next six laps we know that we're going to be coming in early to switch over to the hard tyres which hopefully should give us a hell of an undercut but also should keep our pace consistent towards the end of the race, I think. But it's a decent start, Fernando Alonso leading the way. Following behind. Pretty cl closely here. We're going to slip it up in uh, hot lap mode. Let's see how long that'll last. Well, DRS enabled. This is a chance on Charles Leclerc now. And that's a great manoeuvre around the outside. And we are up into second place. Now it's going to be a case of can we stick with Fernando Alonso. The clerk back past us. Yeah, good uh, move with the, the DRS there just fell out of DRS range from Fernando and that's what allowed Charles to get back through 
doesn't desperately matter. What is good news is that we are able to stay with these guys. It's just going to be a case of making sure we keep this front wing intact and we keep these tyres in good nick. In particular, the hard tyres that are about to come. Right, here we come into the pit lane then. Let's see what we can pull off here. So we are in. Hard tyres going on. Right, let's go. Come on. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. And that gives us some real clear air now. You would hope with the top three battling it out. Uh, Stroll definitely dropped off a bit. Complete. See these tyres through to the end now. But you would hope with uh, all of them battling it out, that'll give us a bit of uh, leeway to, to push now and put in some fast times we have got fastest lap of the race at the moment hopefully these tyres will last and here we go the, the top three have come into the pits let's see what we've managed to do here so your ERS is running look. a bit low, look into changing your ERS mode in the MFD yeah, it doesn't for more look conservative good. burn rate. Or you might want to try some lifting or gentle braking to recharge. Yeah, just wasn't able to get the, the good times in and now they've got better tyres and they're in front of us. So it looks like we might be consigned to fourth here. Managed to catch up to Norris very quickly here. The car ahead of you just fitted the hard tyres. Car ahead now on the hard compound. Yeah, Fernando Alonso dominating this race. Looks like he's going to get his second win of the season. Can't remember the other race that he won, but uh, it's a fabulous result for him. Car behind you, just come in for the hard tyres. Car behind, running hard tyres. George is in the pits, he's in the pits now. So George Russell in the pit lane. Hopefully we're not going to end up behind any of this gaggle of cars. Right, a gap to the teammate ahead of us. 17.1 seconds. Yeah, we are a decent amount away ahead of uh, at least George Russell who's got himself up to P5 now it looked like undercut was just not a thing here and now hoping that Max these guys directly behind you stay alert if he tries to come past we're now hoping that these guys are the ones that are going to battle and we can just pick up the pieces. That's the plan anyway. Right, let's not stay behind this car for too long. We need to get past. There goes Lando Norris. He's trying it down the inside of Charlie Leclerc and he is through. That's a good move. There goes Leclerc on Norris, and he is through. It's a good move on Norris. Trouble is where car number three in this three-car DRS train. The third one just can't get past the other two. But they're doing pretty well. It's getting close we've just got to try and stay close not do anything reckless I think our time will come Uh, 
Okay, we'll Damn it. a time penalty. It will go against our finishing time at uh, the end of the race. Get your head down and let's get it done. There you go. That was what we call reckless. There's no need to be pushing that hard. And we've got ourselves a three second penalty now. Which is really frustrating. affect where we finish too much other than if we actually do pass these guys that'll be very frustrating well this is the closest we've been to them I don't think it's going to be enough okay, to get mate, past them there goes Leclerc down the inside. Are we going to manage the, the switcheroo here? Not quite. But what is annoying is that uh, Piastri is starting to get closer to three seconds behind us than he currently is. Charles Leclerc back past Lando Norris. I've got information on Albon's Albon's out. They're retiring from the race. Hoping that doesn't mean safety car. That would be a disaster for us right now. Well, okay, final lap the final of, of the, race. the Grand lap. Prix. I'm not going to be able to get past Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc anyway, so the three second penalty kind of doesn't matter at this stage. Because we wouldn't have passed these two anyway, and it's not going to affect our standing with uh, Piastri. It's going to be a story of fourth place at Qatar fourth in sprint qualifying fourth in the sprint race fourth in actual qualifying and fourth in the Grand Prix so I think it's the best we could do to be honest we try to be a bit different on uh, strategy by going for a big undercut didn't work Uh, that's why we lost out on the podium place. Probably would have finished second had we kept to the conventional strategy. But it would have been an almighty battle with uh, these two. But uh, it's going to be Fernando Alonso who comes over the line. He's going to win here in Qatar. Excellent result for him and Aston Martin. We come across the line in P4. Decade of hurt is over. Fernando Alonso takes the checkered flag. And it's always good to get that momentum on your side. And it's really good for your confidence as well. The more confident you are, the further that can take you. Well, very well played, Fernando Alonso. Two wins this season for the him. Podium now. Aston Martin really are making waves in this sport. And what a special race this was to see them earn the top spot. Okay, right. Well, let's uh, push forward then. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time?
be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. And there it was then. Fernando Alonso wins 2.2 seconds ahead of Charles Leclerc in second. Lando Norris finished third. We finished fourth ahead of Piastri in fifth. Russell sixth and signed seventh. Verstappen, very disappointing race for Red Bull in eighth. Stroll ninth and Perez in tenth. Let's have a look at the driver's standings then. We are now, uh, what is that, 23 points ahead of uh, Charles Leclerc in the driver standings it would take a miracle for him to overtake us now and that's a, a very good achievement finishing second in the championship this year obviously max verstappen in a league of his own and that's going to be its own challenge next season hopefully in the ferrari but there you go pace goes up to 91 focus goes up and we're halfway through the the 92 rating already on our way to 93 so manufacturing has increased strategy analyst has increased now all of that is looking very very good so next time out we have season one's finale in abu dhabi always a good race to end on looking forward to that next time out but let's uh let's see if we've got anything to do at the end of this episode no we don't so one final dance with mercedes then one final race can we go out on a high and win in abu dhabi let's find out next time out if you have enjoyed this video then give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for plenty more f1 content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye